I made a fence. We have made a funnel, or I don't know what you want to call it. I'm going to call it a funnel. Um, a because our, a what? A sluice. A sluice, that's not a word. <laughs> um, a sluice, <laughs> yeah, you made that up. To uh, just dump that, that is a dump wagon. So it'll dump into this and then funnel down into our holes because our holes aren't as wide as the back of that wagon. So we've fabbed this up real quick and then we'll be able to just hoe it down into the hole. Hoe it in the hoe. Try to cut a hole in a pipe. Gonna try to get two pieces to mate up in a T uh, and see if they will connect together well, but uh, not really sure how to do that. So we're using a hole saw, and our backup method is just use a grinder and some chop saw technique. This counts as my exercise for today again, right? Okay. Gone halfway through, maybe took five minutes to get there, but these things are gonna fit right together and which will make a stronger weld in the end. Okay, well, who would have believed it? Look at that. Oh my goodness. High five me right now. <laughs> Perfect. It's yeah. perfect. Exactly. Would that take 15 minutes? <laughs> Might have taken a half an hour, but like I said, I think with a better bit, we can cut that to 15 minutes. That is awesome. You have to get a picture of that from Man. this side. All right, so y'all got to check this out. This thing cut so well. This is a the cheapest hole saw we could find so that we could hopefully save costs in case it does not work. But this is a three inch diameter. This is roughly two and a half inch outer three diameter. Eighths, yeah. Two and three eighths, yeah. Oh, that's And it is sweet. just beautiful. That's gonna be perfect for welding. Yep. All right. Cool. So we're gonna do this a thousand times and then we will catch y'all back out at the fence when we start welding.
see this, we have the table of the drill press angled at 24 degrees. We're going to make that cut with a hole saw, 3 inch diameter, carbide tip. I'll make an old man do all the heavy lifting, and then you'll get to see our very, very, um, <laughs> can't say safe, sophisticated. Uh, can't say sophisticated. Cool. Um, I'm going with cool. Cool! Very, very cool support system for the heavier end of this pipe. Again, not safe or sophisticated. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. All right, well we are headed into town to get some fencing materials. I need a four x four goat wire and a wire for the MIG welder, uh, gasoline for the generator. I need all kinds of stuff. But uh, we're gonna go get some of that stuff and then we'll come back and start progress. Not only am I saving money, uh, profiting tools, profiting materials, but I'm also really thoroughly enjoying this project. Um, if it was my day-to-day -day job and I had to do this all the time and that's the way that I made my living, I'm sure that I would hate this. It's a whole lot of work. It is really just back-breaking labor um, for myself and my father-in-law to be out there sweating it. It's been a lot of work. However, we know that this is the last time that we will have to do it. Well, good morning, everybody. This is day three of the project. I am working by myself this time, but luckily we've gotten to a point where it's all stuff that I can do by myself. I need to cut two six foot lengths of pipe to sleeve over the T-posts on either side of this field. And then I need to cut about a seven foot piece across. I think it's seven and a half. Uh, with fish mouth junctions on each side to connect to the pipe, tack weld those in place, and then get the generator and the big welder out here and fully weld everything. I want to put some exhaust on my truck to shoot sparks like that. So as it turns out, you should not weld right next to your GoPro. I don't know if y'all can see all these fuzzies all over the screen, but yeah, luckily it's just a little cover. Can y'all see yourselves? See all those little sparklies? That's actually melted from welding slag. Whoops. Luckily, I looked up uh, how to fix this and it doesn't require any tools. And this little lens is not a lens, it's a lens cover. And that is $19.99 from GoPro. <laughs> Well, it's day 1000 working on the fence. Oh yeah, and I forgot that I didn't film any of the painting. I apologize, but it wasn't very interesting. All I did was rub a rag with paint thinner all over the oily pipe to get the oil off. And then I painted it with some black tractor paint so that the fence will be sealed from the weather. But now we're going to get that string back up to get everything in line to where I can ram T-posts into the ground. This stuff's not fun. <laughs>
This is why people have friends. All right. Easy. It's super easy. That didn't. That wasn't hard at all. This thing's not heavy. Ah! 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 Ah!